Imagine waking up every day feeling calm, happy, and ready for anything. Sounds nice, right? Well, that's what being spiritual in daily life can do for you. It's not about complicated rituals or special powers. It's about living with more awareness and connection to yourself and the world around you. In this video, we're going to explore simple ways to bring spirituality into your everyday life. These tips can help you feel more peaceful, more grateful, and more in tune with what really matters. Now, you might be thinking, why should I care about being spiritual? That's a great question. In our fast-paced world, where we're always rushing from one thing to the next, spirituality can be like a superpower. It helps you slow down, breathe, and find meaning in the little things. When life gets tough, and we all know it does sometimes, being spiritual can give you the strength to keep going. Think about it. Have you ever felt stressed out, worried, or just plain overwhelmed? We all have. But people who practice spirituality often find it easier to handle these feelings. They're like surfers riding the waves of life instead of being knocked down by them. Spirituality can help you feel more at peace, even when things around you are chaotic. But it's not just about feeling good. Being spiritual can actually make you healthier. Studies have shown that people who have some kind of spiritual practice often have lower blood pressure, sleep better, and even live longer. It's like a natural medicine for your body and mind. And here's the best part. You don't need to change your whole life or believe in anything specific. Spirituality is personal. It's about finding what works for you and what helps you feel more connected to yourself and the world. Whether you're religious or not, young or old, busy, or with lots of free time. There's a way to bring spirituality into your life that fits you perfectly. So, if you're looking for a way to feel more peaceful, more connected, and more alive, this video is for you. We're going to explore simple, everyday ways to be more spiritual. These are things you can start doing right now, no special equipment or training needed. By the end of this video, you'll have a toolbox of spiritual practices you can use anytime, anywhere. Let's begin at the beginning, the start of your day. How you start your morning can set the tone for everything that follows. Many of us reach for our phones first thing, checking emails or social media. But what if you took just a few minutes to start your day in a more spiritual way? Before you even get out of bed, take three deep breaths. Breathe in slowly through your nose, filling your lungs completely, and then breathe out slowly through your mouth. As you do this, Imagine you're breathing in calm and breathing out any worries or tension. This simple act can help center you and prepare you for the day ahead. Next, think of three things you're thankful for. They don't have to be big things. Maybe you're grateful for the warm bed you slept in, or the sunshine coming through your window, or the cup of coffee you're about to enjoy. Focusing on gratitude helps shift your mind to a positive state and reminds you of the good things in your life. Finally, Set an intention for your day. This isn't a to-do list or a goal. It's more like choosing how you want to approach your day. Your intention could be something like, Today, I will be patient with myself and others, or Today, I will look for beauty in small things. This helps you stay focused on what's important to you throughout the day. This whole routine can take as little as five minutes, but it can transform how you feel as you start your day. It's like planting a seed of spirituality that can grow and influence everything else you do. Now, you might be thinking, but I'm always in a rush in the morning. That's okay. Even if you can only do one of these things, like taking three deep breaths, it can still make a difference. The key is to start small and be consistent. Over time, you might find yourself looking forward to this quiet moment of spirituality before the busyness of the day begins. Remember, Spirituality isn't about being perfect. It's about being present and aware. So if you forget one morning, or if your mind wanders during your deep breaths, don't worry. Just gently bring yourself back to the practice. Every morning is a new chance to start fresh. As you go through your day, you might notice that this morning routine helps you feel more centered and calm. You might find yourself better able to handle stress or more aware of the good things around you. That's the power of starting your day with a spiritual practice. And here's a fun fact. Many successful people, from business leaders to artists, swear by their morning routines. They found that taking time for themselves at the start of the day helps them be more creative, 
productive, and happy. By starting your day with this spiritual practice, you're joining a long tradition of people who have discovered the power of mindful mornings. But what about the rest of the day? How can you keep that spiritual feeling going as you face work, errands, and all the other parts of daily life? That's what we'll explore next. The great thing about spirituality is that it can be woven into every part of your day, not just the morning. As we continue, we'll look at ways to bring mindfulness, kindness, and connection into all aspects of your life. Remember, becoming more spiritual is a journey, not a destination. It's about making small, consistent changes that add up over time. By starting with your morning routine, you're taking an important first step on that journey. You're creating a foundation of peace and awareness that can support you throughout your day. So tomorrow morning when you wake up, why not give it a try? Take those three deep breaths, think of three things you're grateful for, and set an intention for your day. You might be surprised at how such a simple practice can start to change how you feel and how you approach your day. It's a small investment of time that can pay off in big ways, helping you feel more grounded, more positive, and more in touch with your inner self. As we move forward, we'll explore more ways to bring spirituality into your everyday life. From how to be more mindful during your daily tasks to finding meaning in your work, we'll cover practical tips that you can start using right away. Each of these practices builds on the others, creating a more spiritual, fulfilling life one step at a time. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all approach to spirituality. As we go through these ideas, feel free to adapt them to fit your life and what feels right for you. The goal is to find practices that resonate with you and that you can stick with over time. Spirituality is deeply personal, and your journey will be unique to you. So, are you ready to discover more ways to bring spirituality into your daily life? Let's continue our exploration and see how we can make every day a little more meaningful, a little more connected, and a little more spiritual. Let's talk about mindfulness. You've probably heard this word before, but what does it really mean? Simply put, mindfulness is about being fully present in the moment. It's paying attention to what's happening right now, instead of worrying about the future or dwelling on the past. And the best part? You can practice mindfulness anywhere, anytime. Think about how often your mind wanders during the day. Maybe you're eating lunch but thinking about work. Or you're in a conversation but planning what to say next instead of really listening. Mindfulness helps you break this habit and fully experience what's happening right now. Here's a simple way to start. When you're eating, really focus on your food. Notice the colors on your plate. Smell the aromas. Feel the texture of the food in your mouth. Taste each flavor. This isn't just about enjoying your meal more, though that's a nice bonus. It's about training your mind to be present. You can bring this same attention to any daily task. When you're washing dishes, feel the warmth of the water on your hands. When you're walking, notice how your feet feel as they touch the ground. When you're talking with someone, really look at their face and listen to their words without planning your response. At first, your mind will wander. That's normal. When you notice your thoughts drifting, gently bring your attention back to the present moment. It's like training a puppy. You need patience and consistency. But over time, you'll find it easier to stay present. Being mindful can make your life richer and more enjoyable. You might start noticing beautiful things you've been walking past every day without seeing. You might find more joy in simple tasks. And when challenges come up, you'll be better equipped to handle them calmly and clearly. Remember, mindfulness isn't about clearing your mind of all thoughts. It's about observing your thoughts and feelings without getting caught up in them. It's a skill that gets stronger with practice. So don't get discouraged if it feels hard at first. Every moment of mindfulness, no matter how brief, is a step in the right direction. Now, let's step outside and talk about connecting with nature. In our busy lives, it's easy to forget that we're part of the natural world. But spending time in nature can be one of the easiest and most powerful ways to feel more spiritual. You don't need to climb a mountain or trek through a forest to connect with nature, though those are great if you can do them. Even in the busiest city, you can find ways to enjoy nature every day. It could be as simple as noticing the sky as you walk to work or feeling the breeze on your face. Try this. Take a short walk outside, even if it's just around the block. As you walk, 
Use your senses. Look at the trees or plants you pass. Are there flowers blooming? Leaves changing color? Listen for bird songs or the rustle of leaves. Feel the sun or wind on your skin. Smell the air. Can you catch the scent of grass or flowers? If you have a park nearby, try to spend some time there regularly. Sit on a bench and watch the world around you. Notice how the clouds move across the sky. Watch how birds or squirrels go about their day. You might be surprised at how calming and centering this can be. Even if you can't get outside, you can still connect with nature. Keep a plant on your desk or windowsill. Watching it grow and caring for it can be a simple but meaningful spiritual practice. Or try looking out a window and really observing what you see. The way light changes throughout the day, the patterns of rain on the glass, or the movement of trees in the wind. Connecting with nature reminds us that we're part of something bigger than ourselves. It can help put our problems in perspective and bring a sense of peace and wonder to our day. Many people find that time in nature leaves them feeling refreshed and more spiritually connected. And here's a fun idea. Try going barefoot on grass or sand when you can. This practice, sometimes called earthing, can help you feel literally grounded and connected to the earth. It's a simple way to reconnect with the natural world, even if just for a few minutes. Remember, the goal isn't to have some dramatic spiritual experience every time you step outside. It's about cultivating a regular practice of noticing and appreciating the natural world around you. Over time, you might find that this connection with nature becomes a source of comfort, inspiration, and spiritual renewal in your daily life. Let's talk about one of the most powerful spiritual practices you can do, being kind. Kindness might seem simple, but it has the power to transform your life and the lives of those around you. When you practice kindness, you're not just doing something nice for someone else. You're also nurturing your own spiritual growth. Kindness doesn't have to be big or dramatic. Small acts of kindness can have a huge impact. It could be as simple as smiling at someone you pass on the street, holding the door open for someone, or sending a supportive message to a friend. These small actions might seem insignificant, but they can brighten someone's day and create a ripple effect of positivity. Here's a challenge. Try to do one small act of kindness each day. It doesn't have to be anything big or time-consuming. Maybe you let someone go ahead of you in line at the store. Or you give a genuine compliment to a co-worker. Or you pick up a piece of litter in your neighborhood. Pay attention to how these acts of kindness make you feel. You might notice that being kind to others actually makes you feel happier and more connected. But kindness isn't just about what you do. It's also about how you think. Practice kind thoughts, both towards others and yourself. When someone annoys you, try to respond with compassion instead of anger. Maybe they're having a bad day or dealing with something difficult. This doesn't mean you have to let people treat you badly but approaching situations with kindness can often diffuse tension and create better outcomes. And don't forget to be kind to yourself. We're often our own harshest critics. Try talking to yourself the way you'd talk to a good friend. Be understanding when you make mistakes. Celebrate your small victories. This self-kindness is an important part of spiritual growth. Kindness also includes forgiveness. Holding on to anger or resentment can be like carrying a heavy weight that drags down your spirit. Learning to forgive both others and yourself can be incredibly freeing. This doesn't mean forgetting or excusing harmful behavior, but rather letting go of the negative emotions that are hurting you. As you practice kindness, you might notice changes in how you see the world and how others respond to you. You might find yourself feeling more connected to the people around you. You might notice more kindness coming back to you. This is the beautiful cycle of kindness. The more you give, the more you receive. Remember, being kind doesn't mean being a pushover or ignoring your own needs. It's about finding a balance where you can care for others while also taking care of yourself. In fact, taking care of your own needs is important so that you have the energy and resources to be kind to others. Kindness is like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. At first, it might take conscious effort to remember to be kind, but over time, it can become a natural part of who you are. And that's when you'll really start to see the spiritual benefits of living with kindness. So, as you go through your day, look for opportunities to be kind. They're all around you.
in your interactions with family and friends, with strangers on the street, with co-workers, and even with yourself. Each act of kindness, no matter how small, is a step on your spiritual journey. It's a way of connecting with others, spreading positivity, and nurturing your own spiritual growth. Remember, spirituality isn't just about how you feel inside. It's also about how you interact with the world around you. By practicing kindness, you're living your spirituality in a real, tangible way. You're making the world a little bit better, one kind act at a time. And in doing so, you're also nurturing your own spiritual well-being. As we continue to explore ways to bring spirituality into your daily life, keep kindness at the forefront of your mind. It's a simple yet powerful tool that can transform your day-to-day -day experiences and deepen your spiritual connection. Whether it's through actions, thoughts, or words, let kindness be a guiding principle in your spiritual journey. Evening Reflection Your Spiritual Rewind Button As your day winds down, it's time to talk about the power of evening reflection. This practice is like pressing a spiritual rewind button, giving you a chance to process your day and set the stage for restful sleep and a fresh start tomorrow. Before you go to bed, take a few minutes to sit quietly and think about your day. This doesn't have to be a long or formal process. Just find a comfortable spot, maybe in bed or in a favorite chair, and let your mind wander over the events of the day. Start by asking yourself, what am I grateful for today? Try to think of at least three things. They don't have to be big. Maybe you're thankful for a delicious meal, a kind word from a friend, or a moment of peace during a busy day. Focusing on gratitude helps shift your mind to a positive state and reminds you of the good things in your life, even on challenging days. Next, think about what you learned today. Every day brings new experiences and lessons if we're open to them. Maybe you learned something about yourself, like how you handle stress or what makes you feel happy. Or perhaps you learned something new about a friend or family member. Recognizing these lessons helps you grow and evolve spiritually. It's also helpful to reflect on any challenges you face during the day. How did you handle them? Is there anything you'd do differently next time? This isn't about beating yourself up over mistakes, but about learning and growing. If you find yourself dwelling on negative thoughts, try to reframe them in a more positive or neutral way. Finally, set an intention for tomorrow. This could be as simple as tomorrow, I will try to be more patient, or tomorrow, I will look for opportunities to be kind. Setting an intention gives your subconscious mind something positive to work on while you sleep and helps you start the next day with purpose. This evening reflection practice helps you process the day's events, release any lingering stress or negative emotions, and prepare for restful sleep. It's a way of closing the chapter on one day and getting ready to start fresh tomorrow. Remember, the goal isn't to analyze every minute of your day or to judge yourself harshly. It's about taking a gentle, compassionate look at your experiences and using them to grow spiritually. If you find your mind wandering, or if you're too tired some nights, that's okay. Even a few moments of reflection can be beneficial. Now, let's talk about something we spend a lot of our time doing, work. Whether you love your job or find it challenging, bringing spirituality into your work life can make a big difference in how you feel day to day. First, think about the purpose of your work. How does what you do contribute to the world or help others? Even if your job doesn't seem directly impactful, there's usually a way it helps people or makes things better. Maybe you keep things organized so others can do their jobs more easily. Or perhaps you provide a service that makes people's lives more convenient or enjoyable. Connecting with this sense of purpose can make your work feel more meaningful and satisfying. Practice mindfulness while you work. When you're focused on a task, really give it your full attention. Notice the details of what you're doing, whether it's typing on a keyboard, talking to a customer, or solving a problem. This mindful approach can help you do better work and feel more engaged. Treat your coworkers and customers with kindness and respect. Remember, they're on their own life journeys, just like you. A smile, a kind word, or a moment of patience can brighten someone's day and create a more positive work environment for everyone. Take short breaks during the day to reconnect with yourself. Even a minute or two of deep breathing or stretching can help you feel more centered and calm. If possible, step outside for a moment to feel the sun or breeze on your face. 
If you face challenges or conflicts at work, try to approach them with a spiritual mindset. Instead of getting frustrated or angry, take a step back and look at the situation with compassion and understanding. Ask yourself what you can learn from the experience. Remember, your job doesn't define your whole life or your spiritual journey. It's just one part of who you are. By bringing mindfulness, kindness, and a sense of purpose to your work, you can make it a more meaningful part of your spiritual path. While spirituality is a personal journey, connecting with others who share your interests can be incredibly enriching. Building a spiritual community doesn't mean you have to join a specific religion or group. It's about finding people who support your growth and share your values. Look for groups or classes in your area that align with your interests. This could be a meditation group, a yoga class, a book club that reads spiritual books, or a volunteer organization that does work you find meaningful. Attending these regularly can help you meet like-minded people and learn new spiritual practices. If you can't find an existing group that fits your needs, consider starting your own. You could invite friends or coworkers to join you for a weekly meditation or discussion group. It doesn't have to be formal. Even meeting for coffee to talk about spiritual topics can be powerful. Online communities can also be a great resource. There are many forums, social media groups, and websites dedicated to spiritual growth. These can be especially helpful if you live in an area without many in-person options. Remember, a spiritual community isn't about finding people who believe exactly the same things you do. It's about connecting with others who are also on a journey of growth and self-discovery. Be open to learning from people with different perspectives and experiences. Building a spiritual community takes time and effort, but it can greatly enrich your spiritual journey. Having people to share your experiences with, learn from, and lean on during challenging times can make a big difference in your spiritual growth. As we wrap up our exploration of how to be spiritual in daily life, remember that spirituality isn't about perfection or following a strict set of rules. It's about growing, learning, and connecting with yourself, with others, and with the world around you. We've covered a lot of ground, from starting your day with intention, to practicing mindfulness, connecting with nature, showing kindness, reflecting on your day, finding meaning in work, and building a spiritual community. These are all tools you can use to bring more spirituality into your everyday life. The beauty of spirituality is that it's a personal journey. You get to choose which practices resonate with you and how to incorporate them into your life. Maybe you'll start with a morning gratitude practice, or perhaps you'll focus on being more mindful during your daily tasks. Whatever you choose, start small and be consistent. Over time, these small actions can lead to big changes in how you feel and how you interact with the world. Remember, spirituality isn't separate from your everyday life. It's a part of it. It's in the way you treat others, the way you approach challenges, and the way you connect with the world around you. Every moment is an opportunity to be more present, more compassionate, and more connected. As you go forward from here, be patient and kind with yourself. Some days will feel more spiritual than others, and that's okay. What matters is that you keep coming back to your practices, keep growing, and keep opening yourself to new experiences and insights. Your spiritual journey is uniquely yours, and it starts right here, right now, in this moment. Embrace it with an open heart and an open mind. You might be surprised at the peace, joy, and meaning you find along the way. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of spirituality in daily life. I hope you feel inspired and equipped to bring more spiritual practices into your everyday routine. Remember, every small step you take is a part of your larger spiritual journey. Enjoy the path, embrace the learning, and most importantly, be true to yourself. Now, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on what you've learned. What practice or idea resonates most with you? How might you start incorporating it into your life today? Your journey to a more spiritual daily life begins with that first step. Are you ready to take it?